Thomas hit us up. He said, if an alien visited you and asked you to take them to five college football home atmospheres to convince them why this is the best sport in the Milky Way, which home stadiums would you take them to? Now, Thomas said, I'm not allowed to do rivalry games, uh, but I'm just going to ignore that because some of these will be rivalry games. One of them will at least. I need to be fair to the alien, so I can't just take him all around the SEC. I mean, truthfully, I could just do five places in the SEC. I could really, I could do them multiple places in the Big Ten, too. So here's what I decided to do. I am going to welcome this alien. I'm not going to make any rash judgments. I've seen the movies, so I know what you guys are allegedly about, but I want to know what you're actually about, and I want you to know what we're about. So I'm going to take the alien to be named later, and I'm going to take him to a big-time SEC game. Could be the Swamp, could be Death Valley, could be Georgia, Bama, Auburn, Tennessee, like any of these. I'm going to pick a big game, and I'm taking him to one of the SEC venues. Okay, so he got that, and he checked that off. He has experienced the SEC. Maybe I take him to like LSU at night. So he's experienced that. The next place I have to take the alien is to Penn State for the whiteout game. And I would prefer if we did the whiteout game in a year where the schedule aligns where Penn State's biggest home game can actually be the whiteout game. You know, so like this year it would be Michigan, even though Michigan's not going to be the whiteout game. I would love for them to be able to see that. I would love for an alien to watch Michigan have to call timeout before they snap the ball. That really happened, children, not that long ago. It really happened, and it could be that way again. So, you know, you get, you get Big Noon Kickoff out of the way. I think the alien would like Big Noon Kickoff, too, if he's anything like me. But I digress. The third place I'm taking the alien is we've already been to the SEC. We've already been to the Big Ten. I am taking him, in a rare move, to a neutral site, and it's going to be the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, And we're going to watch OU versus Texas. And as I am recording this, we had news from Chip Brown over at Horns 24-7 that it looks like, and this is big news, get ready for it, it looks like they're about to re-up the deal to stay at the Cotton Bowl. And I got to be real with you, and I got to be real with the alien. I had been worried about this. I had been worried that we were just going to wake up one day on a Friday at 4.45 p.m., and we were going to get the news dump to end all news dumps, and that is... OU Texas is moving to AT&T Stadium. And I would have been livid. But instead, looks like sane, non-casual minds have prevailed out there in the Lone Star State. And it looks like they're going to stay. The Red River game will stay at the Cotton Bowl. And I am glad because I I really want to take this alien to an OU Texas game. Okay, so then the alien's already gotten his fill everywhere Texas to Pennsylvania to somewhere in the SEC, well, then I want to go out west because he's going to start to hear things. The alien's going to start to hear that, oh, this must be, this must be like a regional sport where they don't care about it on the west coast. I, die, I beg to differ. We're going to Oregon. You know, I can't think of a better game this year than maybe that USC game when Southern Cal goes up to Austin Stadium. That'd be a really good one. Late in the year, too. That's after the midpoint. I was up there for the UCLA game last year. I would love to take our new friend, the alien, from where? I don't know. But I'd love to take him to Autzen Stadium. Unlike the places in the SEC, unlike the other places I've taken him, the fans are right on top of you in Autzen Stadium. It's really hard. When I went up there last time, I don't even think I ever walked to the other end zone because there was not enough room behind the bench for me to even walk. There would have been, but I didn't want to bother people. So we've gone coast to coast, but I get five places. So I was really, I was really struggling with the fifth one. Army Navy is its own experience. So I'm allowing myself a sixth. Army Navy would be the sixth, but I would want to go to a Notre Dame game because I also want to make sure that our friend, the alien who is not from this planet respects the tradition, at least in our sport that we still hold dear. And I've been to one game at Notre Dame stadium. Maybe that changes this year. But it just, it washes over you. The pageantry and knowing that they're they're doing the same cheers they've done for like 450 years up there. They're wearing the same uniforms in most weeks that they've worn for a long time. The golden helmet means something to me. And I did not grow up in Indiana. I grew up in the South, but it means something to me. Now, when I was growing up in the South, it was me being taught to hate that golden helmet. Hate Brady Quinn 
Brady Quinn is the enemy. But I secretly rooted for him. I secretly pulled for him. Or at least I, I pulled for Notre Dame to be good. I was one of those sick-minded kids that was rooting for what's in the best interest of the sport. Can you believe that? Like, what a, what a degenerate childhood I had. Ah, uh, yes, I know. I know that Notre Dame, led by Charlie Weiss at that time, Lou Holtz before that, I know that I'm supposed to hate them, but is it in the best interest of the sport for me to hate them? What a nerd. So yeah, that's, that's my five-pack, along with Army-Navy, so technically a six-pack of college football greatness that myself and the alien will encounter. Good question there. We need more extraterrestrial questions, in my opinion. 